Right. Good day, great tens, and welcome to a lovely lesson that we're going to have today um, on CAT grade 10, and I'm going to be specializing today in a little bit of Excel, taking you guys through some of the basics. Uh, just before I do start, guys, I just want to send a big shout out to everybody, all the learners who've joined up. My name is Gary Behrens, and I'm going to be taking over from Matthew Haynes, who's been a fantastic presenter up to now. So I really hope you guys are going to stay here. We really got some awesome and cool stuff to work through in this lesson for both beginners and those advanced users. So really awesome. Guys, they've asked us to turn off video today a little bit because we're testing the new platform. So a lot of talking going through, but we're going to have a lot of fun today. So I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves and it's just awesome having you guys here. I also just want to say in one of our native languages, Sani Bonani Abantuana. I think that's the right word to use. All right, you are live with me. Um, I'm going to be taking you guys through this. Right, so guys, what are we going to do today? All right, let's have a look through this. Right, good stuff. Today, we're going to start off with a little bit of spreadsheets. Now, I know Matthew and maybe your teacher's taken you through a couple of the things. Um, at school or in class, but what we're going to do is really have some fun today doing um, something really quite cool and we're going to play with data types today. We're also going to play with borders, shading, alignment, some wrapping and merging, um, alignment and text direction, uh, splitting and autofill, formatting rows and columns, geesh, and a whole mouthful. But the most important thing is that when we learn CAT, it's a practical subject. So you want to be able to do things practically. So what I want to do is create your own dance calendar today. So here's a little example of something that you're going to be building and you can then put this um, on your fridge or you can print it out for your room, which is going to be quite cool. And then for homework, I'm going to let you guys shade in a cool robot based on cells. Um, you're going to need your timetables for that one. Okay, guys. So make sure you know some of your timetables, but really we're going to have a lot of fun. I hope you are all with me and that you guys are understanding and please you need to shout out every now and then um, towards the end of the lesson where I can answer some questions. Awesome having you guys on board. Thanks guys. Right, let's have a look. Right, the first things I need you to do to please guys is to go down to this link for me here. Right now in the um, Q&A section, I've pasted that link for you guys there and that should allow you to download the files that I'm going to work on today. So please just take two minutes while I'm talking um, and just go and get to this link. And then from there, you should be able to access your files. That's really, really important. OK, all right, good stuff. So the link is HTTP. It's 156.155.208.253 and it's CAT. OK, and then you go to the grade 10 and it's week four that we're busy with. It's Monday. Uh, 2004, 2020. And please download both those files. All right, good stuff. Now, I'm going to be tabbing in between my screens and um, let's have a look if we can get going with this. Right, I hope you guys are all awesome and um, you're staying safe from this COVID virus. You know what, guys? I've got a lot of thumbs up for you guys. Other kids are still sleeping late and yeah, you are working through some Excel. So great tens. I'm really, really impressed. Thanks to moms and dads, grannies, grandpas. We're trying to keep data usage down and the new system is really awesome. So while you're getting this link, I'm just trying to talk up a little bit. All right, so um, I'm hoping you went to the link that's in the Q&A section and you could download your files. All right, good stuff. I'm just going to go for those people who are battling. I'm just going to go to my Google here. And what I would like you to do, please, is just in the top address bar, that's where you'll fill in that link. OK, so it should look something similar to this when you uh, are signed in. OK, so you should see files. There it says cat grade 10. Right, and we are busy on week four. Now, please note next week and tomorrow and the next day, these weeks will increase. So it's really quite an easy way for us to deliver the content to you. So just quite simply click on week four, Monday the 20th. Great stuff. And there is the two files that I'd like you to download. All right, great stuff. So the first one we're going to be working on is shading worksheets. So this is the one I want you to click on. You simply click on it. It will go to the bottom of your taskbar, and there you can simply open up the file. Also, um, all downloaded file, for, uh, sorry, files will go into your downloaded 
uh, your downloads on your PC that you're using. So please check back with that um, when you guys are busy. All right, are you guys all ready? Okay, great stuff. So this is the one that we're going to work with, shading worksheet. Okay, cool. All right, I also just want to get this one for myself as well quickly. Sorry, guys, I'm also just doing a bit of a flip through. Right, shading worksheet. There is my download, and we're going to click on open when done. All right, great stuff. Let's let it download, and we should be ready to go. Okay. Right, guys, now before we start anything with Excel with a downloaded file, please click on enable editing. That's this little button right at the top, and that will allow us to get all our icons and do whatever we got to do. All right, are you guys with me? Okay, right. So, guys, build and print your own calendar and robot in this lesson. All right, so, guys, that's a little screenshot of something that we're going to play with. And what's important with the lesson is that you can see all the different kinds of shading um, and things like that. And what a better exercise than to build one of these. So if you've got an uncle or auntie, good heavens, maybe your a girlfriend or something, and you want to make them a nice little calendar with their birthday date on it, it's something really quite cool. All right. So guys, how do we do this? Right. So Mr. Haynes, maybe your teacher went through some basic Excel with you guys. And if you're new to this, please, guys, if you're an advanced Excel user at this point, I want you to understand that I'm following the great 10 cat curriculum and it's really quite important that we help those people who also battle with the basics um, and then also adding something a little bit more advanced. OK, right. So let's have a look. I'm going to first before we go anywhere at the bottom, guys, it's tabs. They call them tabs. Can you see these tabs right at the bottom? OK, great stuff. Yeah, it says build your own calendar and another tab is important icons. And there's another tab which says pictures and then build your calendar exercise. That's what we're going to be working in today. And then a little homework task. OK, and I'll explain this all out during this lesson today. I hope you guys are still with me and you guys are all got yourself a nice cup of uh, maybe you can ask mom for cappuccino. That will be quite good while you're busy working. All right, good stuff. Right, so what I want you to do is please click on the tab which says important icons. All right, guys, so let's have a look at some of these icons that we need to do shading. All right, good. There's a couple of them here that I've got. Right, the first icon that I'd like you to have a look at is the shading icon. All right, so shading changes the background of a cell. That's very important with Excel, okay? So it will change the background of a specific cell or many cells. All right, good stuff. So here is the normal shading icon, which you see here. Now, you know what? It always defaults with a new spreadsheet to be what? Yellow. Okay, don't know why they pick yellow, but yellow it is. All right, so also what's nice is you'll see that it's got a drop down. Can you see the little drop down box over here, guys? Right, when I click on the drop down, drop down box, you've got theme colors. All right, now, some people say, hey, so I don't really like these colors all that much. OK, that's because this is a theme and the theme was set um, earlier on. In another lesson, I'll show you guys how to change the theme colors. All right, these are the standard colors. OK, and that, that button is really important later on in your life, no full. And then we've got a little button here which says more colors. And it allows us a palette of various colors that we could possibly use to fill up cells in Microsoft Excel. OK, so. The, the main purpose of filling and shading is for presentation purposes so that we can make sense of a lot of information. All right, good stuff. Then, guys, you've also got this section here which says format cells where you can right click on a certain cell. I'm just going to go here to you here if you don't mind. Right click and you'll see format cells and there is a little thing here which says full as well. All right, and that's this window that you're seeing here. All right, that you can also set customized or customization to certain cells. I hope you guys are enjoying yourself so far and this makes sense. All right, so what we want to do, guys, in this lesson is we're going to actually try and build our very own little calendar. OK, right, so I've got some specific sizes for you guys and we're going to learn all different skills, like I said, in doing this little calendar in the next couple of minutes. All right, good stuff. So what I'd like you to do is to please take your mouse and go to the build calendar exercise. All right, good stuff. OK, guys, now this looks familiar, right? So we got this blank Excel spreadsheet. OK, good stuff. And I wonder if you guys know in the chat. OK, I don't see the chat now from what I heard, but this thing here that moves around on your screen is called a what? 
If you know what it is and what the name of this little block is that moves around, please shout out for me there and I'll tell you guys a little bit later on as we carry on. Okay, good stuff. Right, so this has got a special name. I just want to give you guys a couple of minutes just to type it in. And um, maybe if you've got to Google it, yeah, those people are Googling. What's the block that moves around in Excel? Okay, it is called a, let's have a look and see. All right, good stuff. All right, great guys. This thing's called an active cell. All right, good stuff. So the active cell is what we usually call this because why? It moves. That makes it active. All right, good stuff. All right, guys, now to build our little calendar. We're going to have a look at our page setup first. All right, good stuff. So I'd like you please to take your mouse and let's go to page layout. Right, and to page layout, I'm going to change my orientation to landscape. Okay, cool. So page layout, orientation means I don't want it to stand up straight. We're going to make our calendar landscape. Are you guys happy with that? Right, cool. Right, straight away when I do that, I get this perforated line which tells me where my page stops. Okay, that's a nice thing to remember between I and J if you're using landscape portrait and between um, N and O if you're using what? Good when you are using um, your landscape orientation. All right, good stuff. So let's have some fun with some shading first. All right, good stuff, right. So let's try and see. Good, I, if I wanna shade a single block, guys, now this will sound very easy for those advanced users, really it will, but just bear with me. There are some people who are battling a little bit. All right, good stuff. So if I wanted to shade a single block, guys, okay, I would make sure that I'm on my home tab and I would look at the bucket, okay, and I would click on the drop down if I wanted to, and I could pick a color, and Excel will fill that with that color. Correct. Okay. Right. Now, if I wanted to do many blocks, all right, I would do a selection. Okay. And a selection is quite easy. You can hold your shift button in on your keyboard and use your arrow keys. There you can see I'm using my shift button and my arrow keys. Or I can hold in my mouse button and simply drag from the top left to the bottom right of my screen. I would like you to do that for me, please. Can I ask you to drag a selection from A1, that's the column, to N33? Good. Right, so that selection is now selected. Okay, and let's go to the bucket, and I'm going to change to a light blue, if you don't mind. Now, if you hold your mouse on it, it actually gives you certain um, criteria on that actual color which is quite nice so that's like a blue accent one and it's called lighter 60 percent okay so i'd like to i'd like you to use the same one because we're building this calendar together all right great right so once i've clicked it a lot of people also don't know all right click off to see what you have done all right so just somewhere on your screen and um, where you see a white little non-shaded block just click anyway and there you can see i've shaded this cells or these cells to a background color, which is quite awesome. Okay, so we know that we've got a background color and please guys, you can modify your calendar after this lesson as you want. Okay, and later on, I'm gonna send you a link. Please drop me up your calendar. Show me what you guys have built, okay? All right, good stuff. So yeah, we got this calendar. Okay, so we know how to flood full um, a certain amount of blocks as we're carrying on. All right, I just want to go through to the chat group quickly, if you don't mind, just quickly have a peek and see if everybody's still with me at this point. Okay, that's awesome. All right, great stuff. All right, going back to my lesson quickly. All right, good stuff. So guys, I'm glad you're all with me at this point. All right, so what we're going to do now, guys, is we want to adjust these columns. We want it to look like a calendar. All right, good stuff. So what I want you to do is just to have a look at, if I take my mouse, okay, and I move it to the line that's between any of these letters on the on the top columns. Okay, and I click and I hold in my mouse button. I can actually see a width. Did you notice that? Right, I just want to show you again. So let's go pick another one. Let's go between I and J. And I put my mouse on the little line between the letters I and J. And I hold in the mouse button. I can see the width of the cells currently. Okay, are you guys happy with that? And likewise, the same I can do on the rows. So between one and two or two or three, you can pick your own one there. You can actually see the row height. Okay, great stuff. Now, if 
for our calendar, I'm going to give you guys some specific sizes, okay? I want the columns, if you don't mind, I'm just going to write columns here for you guys, to be a width of 11, okay? And I want the row heights, okay, the row heights, I'm just going to go the row, a, row H, if you don't mind for now, for row heights, I want that to be 50, okay? So everything in this selection that I've got here, all right, for our little calendar, I want you to change your column width to be 100. Oh, sorry, 11. I do apologize. Why am I saying 100? Good heavens. And the row height to be 50. Okay, so let's see how we can do this. Now, you can try manually move all these little columns down to, okay, so I'm going to try and do 11. There's one, so A is at 11. And B, let's go do B once that. And you can see what I'm doing is clicking and holding in my mouse and I'm dragging this. Can you see this, guys? Okay, all right, to 11. Wow. Now, can you imagine if you had a thousand of those things to do? It's going to take you some time, is it not? Okay, all right, good. So the easiest way of doing this, guys, is to have a look at selections. Okay, so I'm going to take my mouse, I click on letter N, and I'm just going to hold in my mouse button and drag everything from letter N to column A. All right, are you guys happy with that? All right, so I'll show you again. From letter N, I drag all the way over to column A. Are you guys happy? I right click. Okay, watch out, don't push your left button now, push your right button, and right here it says column width. Can you see that, guys? Column width. I'll show you again. Right, good. I clicked on the letter N, and I dragged my mouse all the way over to the letter A, all right, column A. I pushed my right button, and I went to column width. All right, good stuff. And if I click on column width, this little dialog bo box pops up and it says, what column width do you want? And we're going to make the column width, how much, guys? 11. Okay, so I type in 11 and I click on OK. Right, good stuff. All right, so our column widths are now 11, which is fantastic. All right, good. Now the row heights, we want to do exactly the same again. All right, so we highlight everything from um, A1, and we're going to go down to A33, and this time we've got to keep our mouse here on the right-hand side, right-click, and there you will see it says row height. Okay, so let's go and click on row height. Right, row height, we want to set that as what size? Right, we're going to look at a size of 50. Okay, so I type in 50. Are you guys happy with that? All right, good stuff. I then click on OK. Right, so you'll see that these blocks are quite big now. OK, wow. So you can actually see they're not as small as what they had to be. All right, good stuff. Yes, because we want to put in a calendar. We're going to do a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Remember, you can always look at this example that we've got here and to build your own calendar to carry on with. OK, right. I hope you guys are still enjoying the lesson and you guys are still with me, eh? Sunny Bonani, Abantuana, all those people have just joined up. All right, good stuff. Right, so I'm back on the build a calendar exercise. OK, now, guys, there's some things that I would like you guys to have a look at. All right, can you remember we shaded this background? when we just started off this lesson. And you'll see that because we shaded the background and we've adjusted the column sizes, that it's no longer fitting on our page if you look at that perforated line. So we will have to go back and adjust this uh, to suit that just now. Are you guys happy with that in, so far, guys? All right, good stuff. Okay, how do I remove a background? And that's why I got you guys to do this. Right, how do I remove shading? If I've made a mistake, okay, so come on, uh, look here, it's sticking over the side here and down here, it's sticking over. So how do I remove this? Very, very easy, guys. Okay, right, I'm going to click on A1 and I'm going to drag my selection tool right down to where my blue part ended. All right, can you see that? Because remember, we increased the column sizes. And I'm going to go to the bucket again and I'm going to click on No Fill. OK, don't make it white, guys, because white is a color. A lot of people don't realize that white is actually a color. Yes, it is. All right. Good stuff. Um, just like what any other color is green or pink or blue or whatever the case may be. All right. So we want to go no full. All right. Are you guys happy with that? No full will take us back to have nothing filled. Now, let's go try full this again. All right. Good stuff. So I'm going to click, 
on K10 this time and drag back and I'm going to set in my blue color again. Right, so that was quite an important skill. I just wanted to show you how to remove a full color as well. All right, so what we've done quickly is we've adjusted the column widths and we've done the column heights and they're all exactly the same size. So everything is uniform. Are you guys happy with that? All right, good stuff. Now we're going to learn some more skills as we carry on. Right, good. I want to give my calendar a nice heading. All right, so a lot of people just start typing. You're welcome to say my calendar. You can try and type that in if you wanted to. However, I want to give you guys a little bit more skills. So let's look at insert. I want you to click on the word insert at the top. Right, and there we've got this little function here which says text box. All right, so if I click on the little text box, Right, I can then also click um, on my page or on my sheet and it will allow me to create a text box that I can move anywhere where I feel I would like to put it. Right, so I've just clicked down and let's go my calendar. Right, okay, good. Right, so if I click off the text box, it's going to disappear. Okay, if I click on the text box, and I click on one of the sides, I can move this to where I want it to be. So it's now not necessary in a block, which is quite cool. Okay, right, I'll show you how I did that again. Okay, guys, I went to insert and I went to text box and I clicked anywhere on my sheet. Okay, and I typed in my calendar. Okay, right, good. Now, guys, um, a lot of people, you are in editing. When you see the little um, cursor blinking, you're on edit mode, okay, which means you can edit the text. All right, when I want to manipulate this, I, need, I just got to click on one of these side borders, and that will allow me to start manipulating this text as I want it. All right, so once I've clicked on the side border, I can then go to my fonts. All right, and I'm going to pick a cool font. You can go pick one that you like. I think I'm going to go with, uh, uh, let's have a look and see. Uh, I'm going to go brush script. doesn't have to be exactly the same as my first example. We're just going to build our own, which is quite cool. All right, and I'm going to drag this on to my sheet where I've done my shading, and I'm going to play with the font increase size. All right, my calendar, that's looking quite cool. All right, good stuff. And I'm also going to click inside the block and also just change some of the font to make it look a little bit more cooler. Okay. We cool, yeah, on this channel. All right, my calendar, okay. Are you guys happy with that? All right, good stuff. So um, we can obviously change and again, move this around, guys. That's up to you to determine if you want to rotate it to the right or to the left. You can use the little draw handles that you've got. That's what makes it quite cool. All right, good stuff. So there we are. So we've got the shading done. We've got a little text box in. And I think what we want to do is also just play with a little bit of word art in this. OK, so let's go give this thing a month. All right, so let's go insert. I'm going to click on insert and I'm going to go to word art. And I think I'm just going to pick the little red writing um, section that's over here. All right. And in there, I'm going to type in um, we're in April, May. All right, so let's go for May 2020. OK, so that we know the month that we're doing and I'm going to put this on my calendar as well. All right, good stuff. So I've got my calendar, May 2020. So it's looking pretty awesome at this point. OK, there's more fun coming right now. OK, guys. All right, good stuff. Right now, what's missing with our calendar? Oh, duh, sir. Come on, the whole calendar is missing. All right, good stuff. So let's go and put this in. Right, so I'd like you to look at column C. Four. I think we can try and C4. If we have to, we can delete columns and rows. So I want you to go to C4 for me, please. And let's start off with our first day. And I think the easiest way of doing this is starting with a Saturday. So I want you to go S for Saturday. All right. Then what? Oh, sorry, for Sunday. Sorry, guys. S for Sunday. Right. M for Monday. Right. And they're capital letters, eh? And I'm using my arrow key to go over. Remember, I started in column C4. All right, so Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and Saturday. Cool. So those are going to be the what? Days of the week. Are you guys happy with that? All right. For those who don't know, how do I delete something if I made a mistake? 
All right, good. In Excel, very easy. You can just simply push your delete button. So if you made a mistake by the T for Thursday, you can just push your delete button and that should take it away again. Okay, right, let's go back for the T. Right, good stuff. Let's try and make this a little bit fancier now. Okay, so we're busy learning about fonts and making things bigger and adjusting columns. So this is a fantastic little lesson, eh? All right, good guys. Right, now, let's increase the, increase the font size on this. Okay, so I'm going to click, holding my mouse button, and I drag everything in that selection. So I've grabbed all these cells. So I've grabbed from column C4 right through to column I4. Are you guys happy with that? All right, good stuff. And now I can just go to my fonts and I can adjust the size bigger. Cool. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Great. And can you see my selection still on, guys? If you lose the selection, just go and select it again. All right, so I want you to play with your own font size. I'm sitting at a font size of 26. Yours might be something different. That's fine. All right, good stuff. And I want to make it bold. Right, there it is, bold. Okay, right, so there's the B button for bold. Okay, and there's some cool functions here. Check this out. Okay, guys, under the alignment tab, you'll see the following here. All right, bottom other words aligned to the bottom of the cell. All right, so have a look at this. Here's my cell. Can you see it's aligned to the bottom and left of the cell? All right, now in this case for my calendar, I want mine to be center, center. Okay, so again, I highlighted everything and I went to the center tab, yeah, middle align and the center tab there. All right, how cool is that? So now my words are spot on in the center of those individual cells. Are you guys happy with that? All right, good stuff. And let's go and look at some borders now. Let's give it a cool border. All right, so again, I highlight. And I don't know if Mr. Haynes actually went through, but again, he has the highlight. And here is the border tool, and it's under the fonts panel. Okay, right, so I can click down and I can select a border. All right, now there's many ways of doing this. It's up to you. Um, I think because we're all basics at this point, I'm just doing the basics going through it. All right, good stuff. So yeah, you can see it's thick outside borders. Let's click that one. And to see your impact, just click off. So you can see I've created a thick border. All right, now I also want these others filled in. So very easy. I can either click on my column C4 and just click on that same thick outside border again, and just move over with my arrow and click. Move over with my arrow and just click through to create the border. Are you guys happy with that, everybody? Ah, this is looking like a calendar. Don't worry about this offset. We'll sort that out just now. All right, cool. Okay, so who can tell me? What else is missing now? The days of the month. Isn't it, guys? Right, we're missing the days of the month for this calendar now. All right, good stuff. So I'm busy shelling this whole little exercise out for you guys now. Right, so we have got Friday. Who can tell me? May. I think it's got 31 days. And I'm sure the 1st of May is on a Friday. Right, good stuff. I think, if you don't mind, I think I just need to take a sneak peek at that. Yes, it is. All right, good stuff. So Friday, I'm going to type in a 1. On the Saturday, I'm going to type in a two because those are the different days, okay? Right, then I come over with my arrow keys and I'm going to fill in the number three for the month, which is in column D6. So make sure you don't get confused with this going through. Okay, guys, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's check how quick you guys are. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Hey, here we go, Mr. Behrens. 18, 19, speed typer, 20, 21, 22, 23, right, good stuff, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and we got a 31 right at the bottom. Okay, right, so guys, please don't worry about the cells and things if our blue is not covering. We're going to fix that up a little bit later on. Right, I just want to give you a little bit of time just to fill up your calendar, please, guys. All right, so... May the 20th, we started on the Friday, the 1st, and we're going to start doing some adjustments. Okay, you're having some fun, guys. Yeah, yes, this is quite cool. All right, so we've got the Friday is the 1st, and we used our keyboard, and we typed in all these various little numbers for the days of the month. 
Okay, good stuff. We'll fill out all these little other ones later on. We'll use a different font and make them gray. All right, are you guys all with me at this point? Uh, it's awesome. Sunny Bonani, everybody. If you've joined in a little bit later, please check the Q&A feed for the this um, lesson um, that you can build your own little interactive calendar in Microsoft Excel. It's awesome having you guys on board here um, with Africa Team Geeks. You're live with me, uh, Gary Behrens, and um, a big shout out to the STEM Lockdown Program for allowing the teachers to do this with you guys. All right, good stuff. Right, so guys, I think I've given you some time to fill in all these little uh, numbers for our calendar, our days of the month, of the week. All right, good stuff. Now, let's go and do some formatting. OK, right. So, guys, I want you to click on column C5, right? And I'm going to highlight everything from C5 to I10. So again, from C5, I click and hold in my mouse button to I10. Are you guys happy with that? All right. And again, let's go use that same tab again. All right. We're going to center the alignment or middle align all the little um, numbers in our calendar. And we're going to click on center. All right, good stuff. So that you can see now all my little numbers are nicely in between all the little blocks. And all that we left with is some shading now. All right, good stuff. Now, the one I'd like you to try now, instead of the border shade or the thick outside borders, is let's try and do the all borders one. Right, so there's the all borders. And again, to view it nicely, just click off your screen. Right, and then you can see is my borders. Please don't worry about the blue yet, guys. We're gonna adjust some columns just now, okay? And get it to fit on. Uh, guys, also, what I'd like to do is add another thick border right around this calendar. So let's go again. We highlight all these cells again. That is from C5, column C5, right to I10. Okay, and again, I'm gonna click on the little drop down with the borders, and I'm gonna go to thick outside borders. Are you guys happy with that? Cool. So now it starts looking like a calendar, which is quite nice. Hey, guys, isn't it? All right. Yes. Awesome stuff. At least you can tell mom I didn't download the calendar. I built it just for you, which is nice. All right. Good stuff. OK, guys, let's do some more shading now. Saturday and Sunday, we usually don't work. And you've always seen with calendars, they always change the colors on this. They shade them a different color. All right, good. So it's really important that we have a look at this and see how we're going. Are you guys all with me? I hope so. All right, good stuff. The fun part's coming now. All right, good stuff. So let's go and change our headings. Yeah, they are. We're going to call them headings in this cell, um, in this little uh, task. Okay, and these are our Sunday dates and these are our Saturday dates. Are you guys happy with that? All right, so I'm going to highlight from C4 right through to I4. There, I've highlighted it. Okay, and let's go to our bucket full again. All right, and let's go try and pick a little bit darker blue. Yeah, that's cool. Right, so the one I'm using there for that full was a blue accent, one darker, 25%. That's what I've used there. All right, cool. And I'm going to then say to myself, remember, if you want to see it properly, just click off of your sheet again. Just click anywhere on any cell to see what your changes were. All right. So there you can see I've got my headings in. I now also would like to do the Sunday. Right. So let's highlight Sunday out. Right. So again, I clicked on column I4. Look, I4. Click holding your mouse button and I dragged down to I10. And let's go and make that also a darker blue. OK, right. Cool. Uh, maybe to block too dark there. Right. I think it's really important just to try and map some up. Right. So you can see the Sunday, like I said, most people don't work on that day. So again, I've just picked a different blue and likewise the same with the Saturday. All right, so remember that was Saturday, that was Sunday. Okay, good, right. And again, I'm gonna flood fill that one. And please note that when I use the flood fill, it will remember your last color here. So it's really quite easy to find the last color. There we go. All right, cool. So I can see Saturday's dates. I can see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday's dates, and they're all shaded differently. We also changed to a unique um, customized cell width. 
um, and we did a bulk change on that. We added some word art, which is quite cool. He has the word art. We also insert it inserted in a text box, which is awesome. OK, so we're learning, hey guys, don't you think? All right, good stuff. Right, let's carry on with this little calendar of ours. OK, right, good. Now, guys, next on my list is to try and see if we cannot add some pictures to this. All right, now, before we add our little pictures, there's a couple of things that I'd like you to have a look at first. All right, can I ask you to click on the pictures tab for me? Right, so I've done some pictures for you guys here. Yeah, they are. Check them out. Aren't they cool? One hip hop artist. Yeah, uh, some guy with real cool tackies. Hey, where's the Nikes? Where's the Nikes? All right, and a cool story, bro, and a boom. All right, now, guys, this is quite important that I'm going to try and just write something in here for you guys because I want to give something for the more advanced users as well. I mean, they they also, they know how to do shading and all kinds of funny things maybe, and you're also working out. Right, good. I want you to have a look at this picture. Can you see that you're not seeing this picture's background? Look when I move over this one. I'm going to increase the size here, so please just give me a second, guys. Can you see when I move this guy onto this, you cannot see the white background. How many of you guys have found you're doing a project and then you've got this white background behind everything and it just doesn't look nice if you want to put it on a nice background? Okay, that is because these images are this. Okay, and I'm just going to try and zoom up on this little icon for you. Right, these are called PNG files. Okay, now that's a graphic file and it's slightly different to a JPEG. Okay, file that you guys usually download from the internet. Okay, JPEG maybe even, JPEG, JPEG, sorry about that guys, a JPEG or a PNG. Now a PNG is a transparent file. So it's got an image, but the background is transparent. These work really well if you've got a project to do with Microsoft Excel or in Word or whatever the case may be. All right, good. So. If you want to, guys, and go and change these pictures for yourself in your own calendar, try and download yourself some PNG files. OK, that's what they're called. All right. And then you can use these to put on the calendar. OK, so let's see. Right. For those guys who don't know, how do I copy a picture from here and put this onto my build calendar exercise? OK, now there's many ways you can right click and you can click on copy or there's another shortcut. OK. And it is CTRL, which means you're holding your control button on your keyboard. And then you push the V. Oh, sorry, the C. I do apologize, guys. The C to copy. Okay, this is copy. Are you guys happy? All right, good. Control plus C is copy. Are you guys happy with that? So watch. I'm going to click on my picture. I push control plus C quickly on my keyboard. Right, and then I go to where I want my picture to be. So let's go to build calendar exercise and I push what? I'm going to write it in this block here, CTRL plus V, which is control plus V will paste the picture. Now, I don't know why they picked that, but control P is print if you wanted to know the shortcut. So no, control V, it should be OK. All right, good stuff. So let's push control V. And there is my picture, right? So I've got this dude on my page and I can decide to put him where I want him to be. You can just click and drag and you can also use the draw handles to make things bigger or smaller. All right, and I'm going to put him over there. All right, good stuff. Remember to click off when you want to carry on again. Right, let's go and grab our next picture. Right, good. Sure so let's go to pictures. Five minutes left to the end of the session. Thank you, sir. Right, um, you can go and collect another one. Right, I'm going to pick the girly over here and control C and control V. Guys, I've only got five minutes left. All right, and there I'm putting her in. And you can see as I'm pushing control C and control V, I can copy these things through. OK, and then you can see my next guy coming in. Right, and I think let me go and grab some pictures. Yeah, cool story, bro. And let's go again. Control V. So I'm using my control C and my control V and Let's go pick the boom, right? Control C and control V, right? Good stuff. Boom. How cool is that, guys? Okay, right. So I want you, please, guys, um, I've got five minutes left. 
I want you to go finish off your little calendar for me. Right, if you want to, you can still play with format sizes and look at your print, um, and then you can print off your own little calendar. Also for homework, please guys today, I'd like you to look at the homework task, which says shading or build me. Okay, and what I'd like you to do is to try and build this robot for me. So it's to shade it, but to build this, you need to know your times tables. Right, so it says here, color all the numbers in the seven times table yellow. So if you see a seven, one times seven is seven. So I go down the list and I go find a seven and I make that yellow. All right, now please, you, you need to look for all the sevens. What's after seven? What's two times seven? Oh, it's 14. So we've got to look for another number, number 14, number 14. I want you to see if you can shade in this for homework for me. All right. And once you've found out oh, there's a 14, all right, you should build this picture. All right. Using all the various times tables. All right. So seven times table is yellow. Five times table is brown and nine times table is blue and try and see if you can build that little robot for me ladies and gentlemen it's been awesome having you guys here uh, for this lesson my name is mr gary behrens Giabonga abantuana thank you for joining me um, with this live session on shading with microsoft excel i just want to quickly recap guys i just want to go back to my powerpoint presentation Right, good stuff. So in this lesson, um, I'd like you please for next time, just try and complete the worksheet for homework, if you don't mind, guys. Right, in this lesson, we did cover some Microsoft Excel and cells and shading and formatting columns, which was awesome. Again, don't forget about the link if you guys need that to try and find your files. All right, good. There's an awesome link over here that you can have a look at um, with another guy who's also done some videos on shading. There it is. It is in the presentation and available in the video. All right, good. And then tomorrow, please, you need to come back. We're going to be doing an awesome worksheet on all Excel formulas. And I think this is where a lot of um, we all battle with, and this should help you guys out. We're gonna look at equals the sum, max, min, and average, and count. All right, good stuff. Right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been awesome having you guys on this channel. A big shout out to African Team Geeks and STEM Lockdown, uh, to Chrismi and to Kubi, my host, um, and Amanda. And of course, the most important people is you, the learners, for being here with me today and sharing this awesome lesson in CAT. Hope to see you guys tomorrow. Thanks, guys.